This video is about the eclipse. I traveled to Ohio to see this once in a lifetime solar eclipse in its truest form. Totality! This video isn't gonna be like my typical videos since I didn't really prepare much except for my drone and cameras. No data? Well, this video is more about my experience watching the eclipse. I'll go back to making my regular data videos next time. But enough talk. Actually, this video is mostly just talk. More totality? It's totality time! I'm data. I traveled to Grand Lake St. Mary's in Western Ohio to see the eclipse. I chose this location because it looked like a nice uncrowded park in the path of totality to watch the eclipse. The eclipse cut across a huge part of North America. Originally, I had planned to go to Dallas because I'd assumed Texas would be dry and sunny. But as fate would have it, Texas had thunderstorms that day, so I quickly changed my plan to travel to Western Ohio because the weather forecast there was better. I would not have thought Ohio would be the one that was sunny and Texas would be the one that was raining. So much for sunny Texas, this decision would quickly become noteworthy on the day of the eclipse. Okay, we are about an hour away from the start of the eclipse, and we're about two hours away from totality. And right now, the weather is looking surprisingly good. Uh, there aren't very many clouds, and the wind is very calm, which is better than what I had expected. So we'll see if this continues to look as good as it does right now. Once the eclipse began, you could barely see the moon start to occlude the sun. All right, we've got a little bit of an eclipse. It feels a little bit darker. I don't think you can see it, especially not on the camera, but it feels like it's a little bit hazy right now. All right, it's getting rather eclipsed, but you can tell it's a little bit darker. It feels a little hazy, but not super noticeable yet. All right, looks like we have a, hold on. Looks like we have a crescent sun. Okay, we're getting closer to totality. It's starting to get noticeably dimmer. It's still light out, but it is dimmer than it was an hour ago. And it's only like three in the afternoon. Okay, it's getting close, maybe like 10 minutes. It is starting to get rather dim but it's still light out, but it does look like it's getting close to sunset. All right, we're getting real close now. I've got the drone up and it is a couple hundred feet up and it will be recording everything from up above. I think we're getting close. Yeah, I can see it's mostly eclipsed and it is starting to get darker and darker. Oh yeah, it's close. It's just like a sliver or two left. And you can still see on the drone, everything looks pretty bright from up above. I've also got my red and my turquoise. See if the color changes. I've told these colors will appear to change. I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not, but I think my eyes will see them differently. We'll see. Here's everybody else. Parking lot got busier in the last half hour. Oh, it's getting dark. Oh yeah, I can feel it now. Oh yeah, 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 I feel it. I feel it. Oh, I can see it's almost all, not quite, but almost all covered. It's not even a crescent sun. It's just like a little sliver on the top left part of it. Oh yeah, it's getting hazy, or what I call hazy. Let's see, the drone, drone's still doing really well. Still pretty bright up there. The drone's really good in low light. It does seem eerily dark. I don't think the camera's picking it up because it's adjusting. The auto exposure doesn't really show it. But maybe my shadows are becoming less contrasty. This is pretty awesome. You can't see this like I can, but it, it's an interesting experience. Yeah, everything seems hazy. Not just hazy, it seems like foggy. Like even when I just look out at the horizon or at the trees, not looking up, just looking horizontally, I feel like there's fog. And I don't feel like there was fog half an hour ago. Oh yeah, it's getting pretty dark now. Oh, I, 
uh, for a second there. I thought it was just gonna like shoo, go right out. But it is getting darker. The drone hasn't really shown any of this. Oh, I feel it now. It's getting close. Oh yeah. Oh, now it feels like it's dark. It feels like nighttime. Just a tiny little sliver on the top left arc of the sun. What do you want to call that? From 11 o'clock to 12 o'clock, there's a little bit of sliver. Oh, it's just about to go. It's getting really small now. Oh yeah. Oh, I can see twilight on the horizon. I don't know if you all can see this, but it's twilight. Oh, it's a little too bright on the horizon. It feels like there's a sunset everywhere. Oh yeah. Oh wow, this looks incredible. Everyone's applauding. Oh my goodness, okay, look at the colors. They look the same. I don't see any difference here. Let me see if I can switch this around. Okay, this is it, this is totality. Oh yes, oh just barely, it wants to. Almost, not quite. It is very dark now. And it looks like it's twilight everywhere. Like the sunset is around us in all directions. I don't know if you can, you can capture that, but it looks like it's sunset in every direction. Let me turn the drone up and see what we get. This is the drone seeing it. I've got it now on the drone looking straight up. You can't see it, but yeah, it just looks like a bright thing. Yeah, that looks crazy. When I look at it like a normal person, it looks crazy. It's like a ring, like a, yeah, like a ring of fire. I can see it better than the camera can. Even just with my unaided eyes, I can, I can see that. The camera's not picking it up. People have got headlights on now. That's how dark it is. It's like, it's like dusk. It's like twilight. I can see, I think the corona, the, the divergent rays that flat earthers talk about. Oh, I see a little bit of a red thing at the bottom. I don't know what that is. Can I get, I don't know if I can get closer to that. I later learned that the red thing I saw at the bottom of the sun was actually a prominence or filament. You can't see it that well on my camera, but in real life, this thing looked like a bright red dot at the bottom of the sun. Prominences are formed when plasma bursts out from the sun's surface to make large loops. This is a normal phenomenon that happens all the time on the sun. It's just that we can't normally see it with our eyes because the sun is so bright. However, we can see it when the sun is blocked out during an eclipse. So this was an incredible thing to be able to see because it's not something I've ever seen before with my eyes. This ring of fire was probably the most surreal part of my experience. It's very, very dark. Well, this is it. Okay, I'm looking at the red and the green and it looks, uh, it looks like what the camera look, makes it look like. It looks like it's grayish, like nighttime colors. Nighttime means it doesn't look super colorful. Red and turquoise is all I could find. Looks the same. I don't know if that's any different. Okay, uh, I can see it's slowly shifting out a little bit. Oh, is it ending? Oh, it's coming back. Okay, it's coming back now. I think it's over. Oh yeah, I can see the bottom. The bottom sliver now is becoming exposed. Yeah, and it's getting bright again. Wow, it gets bright almost with just a little bit of sun. You probably can't even see it now, but it's still a little bit dark, but it's getting brighter. I don't even know if the drone picked it up. Well, there we have it, folks. That was, that was it. Ooh, all that planning for this. I don't even know if I heard the nightlife. The birds are chirping now. Were they chirping before? I wasn't paying attention. All of these things I was trying to pay attention to, and I don't know if that I did. I did the stupid color experiment though. Okay. Well, that was a once in a lifetime opportunity. This is what the entire totality looked like from the drone.
I think what's incredible about this experience is that it is such a counterintuitive thing to lose the sun midday when we're also used to seeing sunlight in the daytime. All right, well, that's it. Uh, I would definitely say it's a very interesting experience, not something you would intuitively expect to see. Twilight in the middle of the day, sunset all around you. I wouldn't recommend doing it all the time like those eclipse chasers do, but I think everyone on Earth should do it once if you have the means to do so. So, yeah.